Prince Harry and Meghan Markle can expect to be treated like Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie at King Charles' coronation, an expert have claimed. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle can expect to be treated like Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie if they choose to attend King Charles' coronation. The official crowning will take place on May 6 at Westminster Abbey, where His Majesty will shun royal guard in favour of military clothing in a bid to update the ceremony. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, who stepped down as senior royals in January 2020 and now live in Montecito, California, have yet to confirm if they will attend Charles' coronation in three months' time. Writing in Vanity Fair, royal expert Katie Nicole said them that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry would potentially take on a role similar to Princess Beatrice and Princess Eugenie in proceedings. Describing how they would be less visible, she explained. Now that they are no longer working royals, the sources can expect to be treated the same way as Harry's cousins Beatrice and Eugenie, who attend important family occasions but are not in the spotlight and do not appear on Buckingham Palace balcony. It has already been agreed that only working royals will make a balcony appearance during the coronation, and sources have said that the focus will be on King Charles, Camilla, William, and Kate. The expert noted how the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would be asked to take a similar approach what they did for late Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebration last June. Although Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were in the UK to mark Her Majesty's 70 years on the throne, Katie noted how they did not ride in the carriage procession during the Troop in the Colour, an activity they did take part in you know, when they were first married. Instead, Meghan stayed out of the spotlight and was pictured spending time with Savannah Phillips and Mike and Zara Tinder's daughter Mia from a balcony at Horse Guards Parade. The next expert, you know, the expert also highlighted that the couple did attend the service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral, but were not seated in front row with the Prince and Princess of Wales. Similarly, the couple, who unleashed fresh bombshells on the royal family with the release of the Netflix documentary in December, did not join King Charles, Queen Consort Camilla and, and the Wales family in the royal box for the party at the palace concert. Elsewhere in the Vanity Fair story, the expert said the king is determined for Meghan and Harry to attend the coronation as he wants to move on. A palace source said, whatever has been said and done, Harry is still his son and he loves him. He also cannot imagine being crowned, the most important moment of his life, without both his sons witnessing the moment. Prince Harry could be whisked in and out of Britain for a 48-hour appearance at King Charles' coronation without his wife Meghan, sources said earlier this week. One walking theory dubbed Harry in a hurry is that Meghan will remain behind in California to celebrate Archie's fourth birthday while Harry flies in to make a brief appearance at the event on May 6. It was reported yesterday that both Harry and Meghan would be invited to the ceremony but it remains unclear whether they will accept in the wake of Harry's tell-on memoir about royal infighting.